Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> wait, is that a chimp? What noise does gorilla make? What noise does... Oh, fuck off. <laughs> Jilpers, Jelkers, monkeys, ice wolves, and... Rimrims? Have I forgotten anybody? Oh, God, there's too many people to keep up with. Welcome to uh, Rimrim World, featuring your favorite good friend, Jilp himself, and his fairly unappealing colony. And by unappealing, I mean unappealing to him. He couldn't be less interested in the whole Jilp appeal. The man just wants to live his life, and now everybody started worshipping him. Now, as a reminder, our short-term, long-term, short-term goal is to ally with the caravanning faction added by the Caravan Adventures mod, because I'd really love to check that out today if we get a chance. And the only thing standing between us and actually being able to do that quest is the fact that I kidnapped two of their people. Oh, good. I see we're off to a good start today, then. Oh, shit. That's like right there. Okay, team, let's draft up, shall we? Our current hot seat storyteller is Perry Persistent, which granted isn't quite Eager Invader, but is still a bit of a dick. Oh, fuck. What have I done? <laughs> I wasn't expecting quite that many. Uh, start hauling us. Poopy, get the hell out of there. Run and gun, boys. Run and gun. Lumpy, you're here at a bad time. Go and hide. Oh, God, there's going to be so much friendly fire. Oh, the friendly fire sweetie. Oh, we're actually fine. How the hell did no one shoot each other then? I mean, our people do have a track record of being incredibly inaccurate. I suppose shooting our own people counts as that. Wow, that was not bad. We killed out a lot of the mega spiders. Stand your ground. Stand your ground. Don't be a coward. Fireman Jilp. Let's do it, big guy. Kill them all. That was terrible. <laughs> That really was unforgivably bad. Thank you, Jill. Lumpy, get out here. Now, bear in mind, Lumpy can't run very fast on account of her, well, not having much left at this point. Oh, fuck. Okay, start moving. As far as surprise insect raids go, though, this actually really has not been that bad at all. Uh, watch out for that mega spider. Please kill it. Our shots. This is insane. We're at the point now where we've got so many just weak basic guns we kind of fairly low tier guns i argue some of the lowest tier you could possibly build and our bullets rather than killing them are just holding them in place critical mass of shitty weapons brilliant oh no jilp did get one of them with his magic fire powers a single spellipede good work jilp oh don't shoot the rhino please don't shoot the rhino well i asked for components and holy shit did it deliver okay well i think that was a pretty good start how many components we got out of that 48 what on earth? We've also got a quest as well. Excited Neuron Chase. I don't think I will. We got a tornado generator out of it, but I think I'm all right. And then to coincide with our short-term, long-term, short-term goal of becoming friends with the caravan, our long-term, short-term goal is getting the research we need to produce a ridiculous amount of drug. So we're going to go into drug production, and then our plain old short-term goal is getting a transport pod built while we are churning out a ridiculous amount of yayo. Oh, now that will also tick off smithing, which is pretty relevant because Jilp needs a torture crown. Mm, mm, mm. Steamy. I mean, literally, that's how it works. Oh, thank God we built that. Holy crap, look at our grid excess still. And there is biofuel refining finished. Now, look. I hate to say it, but we do have an excess of one particular thing in this base. And it doesn't take a genius to figure it out. We've got a... Oh my God. We've got a little bit hard on the psychoid, I won't lie. And there is something great about drug-fueled drop pods dropping drugs on soon-to-be drug-fueled nations. Ah, oh, now look. Because our colony expectations are now moderate, we need to have an iconic image. All flawed, 24 tiles in terms of size, no beds and no work facilities. I think this will probably do it, right? That's got to have a larger area than 25 tiles. Arconic image. Arconic image. Uh, how in the fuck? Oh, hang on. Art station, right? Oh, and there's drug production. Okay, well, the arconic image can wait a second then. We've got smithing coming up next, which means at long last we can make Jilp his very mighty looking crown. Oh, nice. The arconic image is pretty small. We can also make a terra sculpture. Sure. All right, that sounds pretty good. Colony artist, Don Banana. What are you up to now, Don Banana? Researching. All right, well, take over then. Oh, another Aurora. I wonder if one of those creatures are on the map again. What the hell are they called? Uh, no. Wait, Smelly. What? Oh. <laughs> it's a wild person. I thought it was just uh, an animal called Smelly. You're okay. What about Schneider? Ah, See, so you're okay as well. I, I don't just want okay. The whole part of this campaign... Oh my god, look, you see the desert setting in. Look around the edges. 
Holy shit. The big part of this campaign is building up enough colony wealth for someone to trade as the base for a map to the Arco Nexus, right? We need good people. And by good people, I mean good people with good combat skills. Could we tame a Thrombo? I mean, we can tame a Thrombo. It's just more like, should we? Maybe we should only take one. We do have the animal armor for it, though. And machining, too. That means if I can find some room for it, we can make Joppa's torture crown. Oh, my God, the desert. How good are we for food? Like, we're okay, but are we living in a desert for 45 days good on food? I don't think so. 2,758. Okay, mad idea. Because we've got an insane amount of drugs, and I know this is very off-brand. I think we swap that for rice and just try and get as much food in storage as possible. I mean, look, worst case scenario, we could always swap over the dryads to berry dryads. Maybe I should just do that anyway. I guess I'll expand here. Hopefully the desert will get rid of some of this swamp because I can really not build the base out much further at this point. And a group of crepuscular beetles have wandered in. Of course they have. Oh, they're so cool. What do you have, crepuscular beetles? Plasteel, gold, silver, neutramine. Wow. Got some more medicine. And this guy's got 17 components. Beetles. I mean, look, we could tame them. For sure we could tame them. There's going to be a food issue, though. So... I think they are just going to have to get <laughs> horribly shot. There we are. Zodko, you little shit. Zodko kept smashing up big chunks of the prison. Quite simply because he was racist. Apparently the species diversity upset him enough that he decided to smash apart a bed. What the hell are we going to do with you, Zodko? So you are mining and... Oh, artistic? I also quite like the intellectual as well. Mining and intellectual. What a combo. There you go. Oh, wow. We, we really opened the floodgates, huh? So we need bionics for everybody now. We need that iconic image built as soon as possible. Well, it is. It's finished now. Once Jilp Apparel, working on it, getting the smithy down. Then we need a neural supercharge. Do you, much like Jilp, find yourself running at less than full capacity? Do you want a low-calorie alternate drink for gamers? New from Jilp Fondle, Gamer Jelk. Oh, fuck. <laughs> Use code JELKMASTER for... 10% off. Ironically, that wouldn't be the first time Jalkin has resulted in 10% off. I've moved all the buildings that don't connect up to a tool bench into this room separately because we are not going to have enough room to work on. Especially with the desert coming in thick and fast as well. Wow, I really need to choose my words better. Fucking hell. How are we looking? Oh, wow. Holy shit, it's closing in so quickly. Wow, that's cool though. The boreal forest didn't really have much of an effect, but this one is going to be a game changer. We might not be able to have this many sheep. We certainly might not be able to have this many gorillas. Oh, and forget the fucking thrombo. Go on, poopy. Let's see if you can get it. If not, I'm going to say don't bother. Yeah, no way in hell we can feed that. Stop wasting the food. And we'll say smelt metal from slag do forever. We we've got a kind of overflow here of, well, shit in the stockpile. I'm going to say get rid of all melee weapons with the exception of tools. So we'll keep cleavers, hatchet. I suppose I'll keep some of the fancier ones, like the plasma swords, the mono swords. Iconic image. Well, let's get you thrown down then. Ah... Uh... We could always build a couple of them. Make it nice and symmetrical. Put it either side of the altar. Yeah, I quite like that. I am going to have to kill off all these wild men as well. Otherwise, they're just going to eat all of our food. Oh, we killed the beetles too. Good shit. Let's get that out of there. John is kill. No. Ah, there it is. Yeah, I think plain steel works perfectly fine for a torture crown. Oh, and the transport pods are done. Hey, good shit. Right, so we'll build the... Oh, God. Build the drugs lab next. I guess we'll move this into here. Ho, ho, ho. Look at that. The perfect man, just like the simulations predicted. And by simulations, I mean Crypto on Discord, who completely beat me to Torture Crown Jilp. Look at that. Now, that should inflict pain by default, right? So that gives a, yeah, 5% pain to whoever's wearing it. Does that give minor pain plus three? So we could give everybody a torture crown. Job needs it specifically because it's his apparel. But if we give everybody one of those, that's plus three mood for free. Problem with that, of course, if they do that into combat, they'll be downed a little bit quicker. So let's start working on all the next parts of the mood problems here. So a neural supercharge. I don't even know what the hell that is. Neural. Nope, that's neutral. Neural supercharger. Uh, 1,500 research. Okay, well, let's crack that out immediately. And then the other thing we can do, because we are techist, we can attach to all of the beds the sleep accelerator. Now, bear in mind, these guys don't get a bonus from comfort, because we don't care about comfort in this colony. Oh, my God, it's expensive, though. 50 and 5. Wow. We do have 49 components. To be honest, it's the steel. I don't know, 50 and 5. 
people we got? 11? Is that 550 and 55 components? We can almost do it. That's the crazy part because of those insects that we had recently. Well, look, let's, um... Well, to be fair, not everybody has a bedroom right now. So let's swing that one around so that we can actually attach it. We'll give it to as many people as possible. A sleep accelerator. I mean, it does exactly what it says on the tin, right? Speeds up sleep, consumes electricity, and increases hunger. The hunger aspect is the only thing I've got a real problem with right now. Oh, it's only 50 watts a sleep accelerator. That's already not too bad. What's our excess? 3,200 watts right now. I, I think the food is the real problem. Let's give it to Jilp. We haven't got to worry about uh, Constantine because he doesn't sleep. Same for Otto. Same for Don Banana. In fact, why the hell have they even got a bedroom in the first place? Let's give it to the characters who are really, really good. So I think Sweetie can get one. And then Lanath as well. And then let's queue up the drugs launcher. <laughs> <laughs> now, our colonists have no need for such puerile, senseless things. Never never sample your own stock, but we're more than happy to, well, I mean, keep it in stock, right? So it's 35% rest effectiveness for plus 20 hunger rate. It's not bad at all. It really isn't bad. Oh, it's 50 watts until they're actually sleeping because it's got current power use. Ah, oh, shit. Okay. Well, let's start with three and see how it goes. 400 watts when it's active. That's still not too bad. We've got two of them active right now oh no wait hang on the wind turbines have kicked off and now look how fast is the sleep game though it, i mean i mean it's good rest rate multiplier 100 it's even working oh it's rest effectiveness i was about to say it's probably down to the fact that we're using a slab bed in combination with that but the slab beds apparently have 100 percent rest effectiveness which is a bit weird i'm fairly certain regular beds have 100 percent rest effectiveness as well i guess it's so that you can play the ideology how you want Without being massively punished for it, right? Hey, you guys are... You guys notice how slow the game's gone recently? What the hell? That's worse than an 18-year colony with Ohm. Ah, oh, would you look at that? Good as new. Turns out the biomes modern year as nature don't play well together. Who could have possibly guessed that trying to transform the entire map on a semi-frequent basis might have some side effects? <laughs> I will try and fix it when I am back home. Because I'm not, I'm not here right now. Well, I mean, I am right now. But as you're watching this, I won't be. It'd be very weird if I wasn't here right now. I have no idea what you are. And I have no idea how this is supposed to work. They improve consciousness and learning rate. But increase hunger. And the effect must be refreshed daily for our neural supercharger. Okay. Uh, I guess we'll just put one down. Well, really, we need another building for this as well, don't we? I wanted to keep an eye on Jilp. See how effective these rest boosters were. What are they called? Sleep accelerator. Ah, oh, rest booster. It's the same thing. But look, he completely finishes his sleep cycle by 3 a.m. That's incredibly good. Well, I guess we don't need to make them berry makers anymore. We could go... We could go Clora. Because our colony wealth is about to really explode. Now, I'm really not going to build too many of these. We'll throw down two to start things off. The rest of this room we'll use as a hospital and a drug production lab, I guess. It's not the most convenient to the stockpile, but it'll work. And I think a hospital bed. Vices monitor needs multi-analyzer, right? Yeah, okay, so we can't do much with that. Maybe gunsmithing wouldn't be a terrible idea. So we can change it to auto-use with the desire or auto-use for everyone. I guess there's, I mean, I mean, for us, there's no difference between desire and everybody, right? Because everybody desires to use it because we have that techist theme. Allow guests. No, guests can fuck off. Get your own neural supercharger. Oh, or get your own neural supercharger because we don't, we don't have one. Terrapods, what have you got? A silent neuroform would be quite nice. Two crawlers, one phalanx, one scyther. That's really easy. Uh, or we can take Leo. What are you good at, Leo? Mining. I don't need any more friggin' miners. Especially not from the University of Fidelity. <laughs> oh, finally, they can share a bed. Thank God. I mean, it's a bit irrelevant because her uh, husband's a robot, but, you know. Well, who could have possibly seen that coming? After building a bunch of brain-manipulating machinery, we're out of components. I guess we could strip mine. I hate it, but we could crack open the ancient danger. Ah, ah, okay. All right, all right, fine. Why not? We haven't had anybody yet die besides Ice Wolf, but I mean, that's par for the course, really. Okay, let's get Jilp to crack open the door because he's got the shield. Then we'll get you guys lined up here and let's catch him in a crossfire and then we can shoot each other too. Incredible. This quite literally cannot... Fuck. Ah, uh, yeah, of all the things I was expecting to fight, that wasn't up there. Ah, uh, all right. Okay, okay, okay. Draft. 
then get jump like okay okay bring you guys over bring you guys over let's, let's get behind some cover we, we're gonna fucking need it at this stage to be completely honest with you put you there uh booby smurf go there dumb banana there constantine there jump please get somewhere and then combat command it's not gonna be everybody but it's gonna be close enough actually we can put you there Will that just be close enough oh not quite you know what share a tree that'd be all right come on then let's get this over with please no 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 okay uh booby smurf get out of there you guys can get behind some cover somewhere else fuck it get him jill oh shit okay uh we need to bait them out a little bit to start off with i think that's probably not a terrible idea don't shoot him that's what i thought come on come on okay jill get out of there how the hell am i gonna bait them out I'm not up for this at all. Let's crack open another couple of walls. Okay, okay, okay. Here we go, here we go, here we go. And pause. Shield. Get out of there. Fuck. Ah. Uh, this is, this is dangerous. Oh! Well, that was a misfire. Well, we've woken something up. Uh, right, okay. Get back. Get back. Let's see that now that's woken up, whether that will have any sort of side effects. Those bugs angry? They're fleeing. Becca. We've woken up the crypto caskets and now they're fighting them for us. That'd be... Man, it'd be so nice to go and grab some of that shit, though. Uh, are you any good? I mean, no. I would really like your shirt. And they're still hanging around in there, huh? Well, first things first. Whoops, I slipped. Die. Die. Don't, don't die. Okay, I didn't want them to actually die, but the gold is very nice for the multi-analyzer. Fuck this. <laughs> Stop huddling around like a coward and kill them. Oh, shit. I'm so sorry, Booby Smurf. Okay. What the fuck do we do? This is way too strong. Ah. Aha. Ah, ha, 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 ha. You fool. You absolute moron. Yes. Yes. Die forever. I see it. What would all work out in the end? Except for the fact that Booby Smurf once again got absolutely peppered. Hey, Booby Smurf, go home. Uh, Dr. Poopy. Okay, well, I guess it's Dr. Lumpy again. Oh, Dr. Lumpy's not doing so good either. Uh, you know what? Stand there. Dr. Lumpy can patch you up. Jump, get in there. Let's strip some people. Do you want to capture them? Uh, not massively, I don't think. Plants, 10. Social, 8. No, not really. Xenophobe, anxious. No, you're all right. And, no, you're pretty terrible too. Let's get in there. Let's get ourselves some free clothes. Nice. Oh, full-on marine armor. What a day. And we've also got three advanced components, 40... Oh, man, I like a shitload of gold. No... Ah, oh, Plasteel. We can do it. We can build the multi-analyzer. We've got good guns here, too. Heavy SMG. We've got an actual full-on service rifle. None of them are bio-coded. You'll be fine. Booby Smurf, stop panicking. What did you lose? Oh, you didn't lose anything. It was just a couple of shots. What a great deal. Look at that. Jilp, take the marine armor, my friend. And Constantine, the Pope of Jilp, take the recon armor. And a rifle for Jilp. Oh, what an upgrade. <laughs> he looks incredible. I mean, this could not have gone any better. I had no idea you could get advanced mechanoids in the Ancient Dangers, but that worked out so, so well. Equally, we could have been horribly murdered. Let's crack open that crate then and see what we've got. Ah. Right, yeah, no, that uh, seems about right. And that was 540 steel as well. Some uranium, some gold. That was insanely good. No. I don't want a wanderer. Who was it? Ace the Surgeon. Oh, I didn't want you. Now, we have alpha animals. This could be a mimic. I almost... I, I feel like we should save it as a surprise, but also you can fuck yourself if you are a mimic. Hunger rate. Where is it? 1.84. 1.84. What do regular people eat? Jill, show me. Hunger rate is 1.6. That's probably just a regular dude then. He turned up with his own backpack and synthread jumpsuit. I can't complain. 10 animals, double passion, 14 medical, double passion, fisherman, careful shooter. He's 78 with no health conditions. You know what? Worst case scenario, Dr. Fisherman. Wow, it's like our second best doctor. That's insanely good. Don't get me wrong. I'm enjoying the natural expansion of the base a little bit. I always find that bases that evolve naturally rather than uh, meticulously planned out just to look better. But I also really do fucking hate the swamp. So here we're going to throw down another bathroom, given that it'll be adjacent to what is going to be the hospital. I think that's probably not a bad idea. Let's throw down a lovely wooden toilet. You're welcome. This colony has a lot of comfort, so you know it's only one ply toilet paper. Oh my god. 1,166 raid points. Ah, oh, it's going to be an ancient danger, isn't it? Motherfucker. 
Remind me to, uh, to fill that place in when we're done here. And that was me thinking how easy it was that we got all that cool stuff. How's your infection going? So, as we saw, Booby Smurf got shot. And then she decided to uh, go on a tantrum. So we haven't been able to tend to her. Oh, we still got the combat command. How long is it active for, Jilp? Uh, one hour. Might be enough. Uh, I think I'm just going to take the leg off of Booby Smurf. Because the chance of that being fine is, um... <laughs> it's pretty slim at this stage. We'll leave Booby Smurf and Dr. Poopy behind so that we can get the surgery done on that. What are we up against then? It's not that bad. No, it's not as bad as I thought. The ray points were a little misleading on that one. If we just keep our distance and be very careful and hopefully make the use out of Job's combat command, we should be fine. We do have slightly stronger weapons now, don't forget. Please, Rhino, don't get in the way. Please. Rhino, fuck off. Okay, squad, time to run and gun. <laughs> <laughs> I'm getting the strangest deja vu, you know. Mega Scarab Revenge? Yeah, I should bloody think so. Okay, Lumpy, Lumpy, Lumpy. Oh, God, think of poor Dr. Lumpy. And we're fine. Well, there we are. Given that Jill always gets the best good night's sleep, we'll send him down to come and smash these hives up. Brilliant. Surgery failed. Good job. Well done. Fuck, how did you mess it up that much, Poopy? I mean, I'm well aware it's a, a dark room, but that's not the point. Thank you. Okay, you good now. The, the leg is fine, but she's bleeding from the other failed surgery. Patch him up. Ah, oh, psychic soothe. I mean, everybody is losing their goddamn minds right now, so that'll probably help out a little bit. Please have components. Yes. Okay. Oh, with that, we can build an orbital trade beacon. I might even sell them some sheep, because we do have a lot of sheep. And shit, they pay good money for them, too. Look at this. Holy crap. We're, we're, we're sheep town now. This is so good. Might be a legitimate money-making method for one of the future Nexus runs. We're going to trade sheeps for components, telescopes, and televisions. That's so, so good. Give me the rest. Hopefully, this will be enough to get them to shut up about the recreation problems. I suppose we could throw that like... Uh... We could put it there. It's not perfect, but... <laughs> oh, there you go. Enjoy. And now for the main event at long last. Give me... Drug. I mean, fuck it. We could get five people doing that. Why not? They've all got a passion for it. Sure, I'll cut into the research a little bit, but we're here for cold hard cash. Yes. Give me Yayo. Or give me a person. Shod. Hello, Shod. Uh, Orc? That's an Orc, all right. Shod the Repulsive. <laughs> Crafting a double passion isn't bad, but I'm not interested, Shod, I'm afraid. My God, another one? That right there, my friends, is a goblin. I wouldn't even want to try and pronounce your name. Oh, but no combat stats. I can't say people with no combat. Our colony mouth is about to blow up. No, I'm sorry. I couldn't even care if Shittle himself fell from the heavens. At this point, it's the skills that matter, not the people. So, sorry, random goblin. Let's throw down, I think, some shelves in here just to help facilitate the production a little bit faster. Oh, oh mech hives too. All right, here we go. Three pipemen up there. Then we've got... Okay, there's Shod. Goodbye, Shod. Then over here, we've got a pipeman and a flame bot. That's not too bad. Let's start working on some higher-end guns, though. I think quick draw is probably the safest idea. Bear in mind that we are limited quite significantly in what we can have with simple sidearms. We could go for things like miniguns, but we'd only be able to use the minigun with no side tool. Oh! Oh, the Royal Tribute Collector. Oh, well, shit, that was great timing. Well, that raid... Might just deal with itself in that case. Brilliant. You know what? Fuck it. Take the evening off. Go back to bed. Yep, they are seriously going to deal with that for us, eh? Oh, free stuff. Look at that. Are they going to blame me for this? Because, I mean, I can't be held accountable. We also got some free battle animals, too. A group of bed bugs are joining the colony. I'm sorry, is that supposed to be a good thing? Oh, wow. Yeah, they're lovely. Thanks. That's, um... Oh, good. There's loads of them. Ah, oh, what a kind gift. Could we give them as tribute to the Empire, do you think? <laughs> no, they just want gold. Sweet, sweet gold for... No, 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 you're okay. Uh, we're good, thank you. You're telling me that's what caused the infestation? Three blocks of mountain. In theory, we should just be able to go like that, and then everything will be fine. I'll pull the roof off, too. Why the hell not? <laughs> yes, look at it. Oh, Zodgul, what a good job you've done. What the hell was that that just exploded? Everything. Oh, good. Holy shit. Wow. This is insane. Once a neuron supercharge. Okay, we'll deal with that in a minute. Eight raw food. You better not have eight raw food. And apparently we also have no meals. Uh, we might need to draft up another cook. Well, then I think it's time we have our 
Festival of Promises. And that means it's time to burn the effigy. The icon of sloth and laziness himself, Fat Larry. I just wish it looked a bit more like Fat Larry, to be honest. Rival drug lord and a man who personifies laziness. Dr. Lumpy, what the fuck are you wearing? <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna do a spot of beekeeping before we burn Fat Larry. Oh, the Dryads have joined us. Join us. Oh, you have to do it indoors? Oh, well, fuck that. It's 80% still. Burn. Burn, Larry, burn. Do you think the music's a little too pleasant for this, or is it just me? <laughs> and he is gone. The effigy of sloth. Hey, that was nice. There you go. Oh, it counted as fun. Everybody gets plus five mood. And more to the point, we, we lose the negative moodlet as well. So that's pretty huge. So the only problems Jilp has in his life right now is that he's slightly tired from staying awake all night having a fat Larry burning, which has just sold itself. He hasn't got an artificial limb. Other than that, he's having a great time. And to be honest, at this stage of the game, I could probably afford to crank it up to lavish meals, right? 446. As long as we're not making vegetarian lavish meals and bikes dead, starving to death horribly. I think that's acceptable. What the hell is even that? A wayward mobile assembler. Oh, I remember these. They make uh, regular components, right? Or something like that. Oh, more specifically, they convert organic matter into usable stuff, such as building materials, munitions, and explosives. I would like that. That sounds quite handy. Hey, kid. You want some yayo? How much yayo have we got? Can we even sell them yayo? Am I... Am I scrolling right past it here? If only there was a search bar. Yayo. Not willing to buy it? You cowards. I'll give them the Luciferium. Not really too bothered by that. I'll also give them the Soothe Pulsar, because that's not really good either. Right, it's not that it's not good, it's just not practical for the amount that we could get by selling it and buying something better, right? Uh, that animal, is it for sale? Oh, it's not even for sale, it's just one of their... Oh, I guess it's probably a mount that they've bought with them. Oh. Well, in that case, uh, take the Bionic Bladder. Well, Jump was complaining it doesn't have any artificial parts. <laughs> They might also have what we need to build a hospital battle too. So before we... Oh, yeah. Have they got any steel? That'd be really handy. I think the next thing we need to build is probably some sort of ground penetrating scanner. Yeah, they haven't got any steel at all. That's a shame. I'm going to trade sheep for plasteel, which I think is a pretty good trade. And then let's just see if we can build a single hospital bed. I don't care if we... Uh, we don't even have the steel to... Uh, Use a base block for some other material. Damn it. All right, well, in that case, you know what? There's probably not much point finishing these guns if we haven't even got the resources to build the bloody things, right? So let's go multi-analyzer, and then let's start going for deep drilling as soon as possible. Did we finish the... Oh, we did finish the comms console. Ah, oh, and speak of the devil, do you think a bioengineering supplier will be interested in a whole load of drugs? No. No, they really aren't. Right, let's load it up with 100 yayo to start off with and see if that's enough to win the moment. We did kidnap two of their people. Let's go 200 yayo. Okay, launch when ready. We want to give this to the caravanning faction. These guys here, Sacrilege Hunters, that's 161. Minus 77 right now. Yeah, that'll that'll do it. We'll almost become allied with them at that point. Here you go, my friends. <laughs> I think it says a lot about their faction that they get 200 yeah, drop on their doorstep and say from Jilp, and they then they're just like, yeah. You know what? It doesn't matter that he kidnapped two of our people. That's fine. And there you go, allied. Well, that was easy. Good work. I'm just hoping now that the, the quest added by the mod will still trigger correctly, even though we did kind of piss them off. Ah, there it is. A sacrilege hunter's caravan is approaching. They seem rather well equipped. Might be worth checking out what they're doing here. If you miss this chance, wait for further caravans. Most may seek contact beyond just trade. Oh, there they are. Hello. So there's a person here, Neon, that we can't actually interact with at all. I guess we'll just try trade with them to start off with. Uh, wow, they've got some weird shit, but yeah, nothing I would imagine is out of the ordinary as far as I can see. They do want to buy Yeo. Ah, oh. <laughs> it's working. And I mean, if they've got any good guns to sell, I would happily buy them because that would really... Crypto rifle, give me that. And I suppose I'll take the medicine. It's a bit boring. Oh, my, I mean, shit, they can't afford nearly what we've got to off here. We'll take the jump pack step print too, and then I suppose I'll take a few drugs back. All right, there we go. I think that's a good deal. Talk. There we go. Gonna have a chat with Neon then, see what they want. Hey, you, we've been traveling for weeks now. We're hoping we can make a few days to rest at your village. We won't trouble you, of course. We just need to relax for a bit. It's been hard on the road. Neon shivers. Sure, we don't mind. You're welcome to stay a while. Neon gives you a tall but beautiful smile. That's kind of you. Neon takes a deep breath and her aunt's eyes glance over the village and beyond. It's a fantastic village. It fades in with the beauty of nature all around perfectly. Ah, does it though? <laughs> How are you guys doing here? We could say, that's nice of you to say. Thanks. So we put a lot of work in. Oh, it's, it's one option. That's nice of you to say. Thanks. We put a lot of work into it so far. I hope we'll make it through the winter. 
I'm sure we'll be fine. We started building a settlement not far from here. Hopefully, Jack runs out of booze soon so we can finally plan the rest of buildings. Our constructors, our, our constructors are anxious to get to work. Anyway, you should visit us when you're soon and give us a chance to repay you guys for your hospitality. You notice Neon starting to smile and relax. We might swing by. I've got to go. Due to cause good luck in your travels. Uh, thanks. We'll be happy to come and visit. What brings you here? Okay, we got an option. She looks down and bites her lip. That's a long story. I guess we have time. We come from another planet, but endless war over powerful artifacts was the end of Valoron. My fiance died when we fled to our guild ship. I've no idea how we made it out alive before the planet's core collapsed. Neon looks up at the sky, trying to shake the bad memories. Years later, we came across your planet. We noticed some ancient structures that could be found all over the planet, and our thirst for knowledge drove us to settle here. I'm not looking to repeat our mistakes, but in the end, it's what we're good at. Settling wasn't easy, though. We're played by sickness and raids from various factions. What advice can you give us? We can say, well, that's quite a story. Our ship crashed here as well not so long ago. We're trying to figure things out the same as you, I guess. And we can point at Neon's weapon and say, you seem well equipped for the challenge, though. And Neon starts playing with her hair nervously. You notice, hmm? We managed to excavate a bunch of shrines already and found incredible artifacts, but the mechs inside worry me. We lost two of us when breaking over our open at our second shrine. Their deaths weren't in vain. We managed to be dead, but now if it wasn't for all this gear, we managed to scavenge. Smile again, Neil looks at you in the eye. But things seem to work out fine. Now that we've met you guys, I'm sure a faction will be able to help one another if you're interested. Like in the form of, I don't know, 200 drugs raining down from above? Sure. Together, we might make it in this strange place. She takes your hand and smiles. Amazing. I can't wait to bring the good news home. We're no longer alone. I'm going to leave this vanometric power cell with you. We can spare it. I should talk to the others, see if everyone is okay. Thank you for your amazing chat. You gave me hope. Neon blushes as she lets go of your hand and turns to face her fellow guildmate. All right, see you soon. Goodbye, Neon. That was very strange. Here, take this rifle. My God. <laughs> Holy shit, Jill. Well, we got a free phanometric power cell, which I really, really cannot complain about. Uh, I guess we'll throw that... Throw it somewhere safe, but somewhere where it's also unlikely to explode or get in the way. I guess there is fine. I don't think I've ever seen a, a kind of narrative-driven story in Rimworld before that doesn't come from, say, a mod that adds a specific endgame condition. Oh, who could have guessed Ace was a traitor? Well, they weren't a mimic, but they were a dick. Uh, Jilp? Deal with them. Gives a sample chance to test out this rifle, right? Oh, you, you fucked off the wrong man. Oh my god. Poor Ace. Oh god, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to kill you, but you really do have yourself to blame there, my friend. God, Jilp is like a warrior. Look at him now. How far you've come. Well, I think that is a great place to end it. I'm glad that we were finally able to see what this caravan adventure is all about. We could have had it a few episodes ago, but I think getting it with those good colonists too is, uh, uh, that's fair enough. So then tomorrow we will continue on with the adventures of Jilp. I suppose we'll continue on with this caravan adventure specifically and see where that leads us as we work up to our first piece of the Arco map. Honestly, at the rate we're going, we'll get the first piece in no time. And as always, a big thank you for bearing with me, especially over this weekend where I'm not actually home. This is all pre-recorded stuff. Well, I mean, everything is, but th this weekend especially. Can't keep up with comments or anything like that. So apologize for the inconvenience, but it was fairly important. So thank you in the meantime to uh, the patrons as well for allowing all of this to exist in the first place. Thank you to Nikki Sticks, Cube Hog, Encra Slave, But I'm Homeless, Revan, Almadel Solomonis, Pandemic, Essidus, Galaxy Wolf, Mythomatic, Dranmere, Grant the Hero, Dirt Nerd, X, Dr. Don, MD, and Biv for their support. The executive producer tiers over on Patreon. Big thank you to you guys. And a thank you as well to Muskratful, Papa Snow, Coldest Flame, Amanda, Laser Gaming, Slicknick844, Matthew, Snowlauger, Hjorta123, Janosch, Ever Vigilant One, Justice for Ilya, Kyle, Dunamite, Shisluder, Astro Boogie, and Cody Cope. 